Welcome to your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by SSI. CBS and Nielsen Neurofocus have developed Neurocompression, a neuroscience research tool that compresses a 60-second or a 30-second TV spot into one half as long. Of course, that saves media dollars, but the companies claim more importantly that these condensed spots are often more impactful than the lengthier versions. CBS Chief Research Officer David Poltrak said the compressed ads can be repurposed into marketing consistent online, mobile, and in-store forms. And CBS says it will apply neurocompression to several promotional campaigns this fall. Also on the neurological research front, AdSAM says it received a U.S. patent for an fMRI capability that was developed at the University of Florida. It can identify and measure specific regions of the brain that relate to appeal and engagement. Moving on, the apps market is so hot that Google announced it's launching mobile app analytics, a set of free statistical reports for companies that are interested in tracking the performance of their apps. Google said this will extend beyond the number of downloads or new users of an app to provide statistics on app sales and purchases. But in addition, there will be insights into new and active users, distribution of users with newer and older versions, traffic sources, frequency of app usage and navigation through them, plus tracking of app goals. The product will be available to everyone by the end of the summer. Moving on again, based on 100 million shopper experiences tracked for Monetate's first quarter e-commerce quarterly survey, one, tablet conversion rates are not only going up, but they're sometimes exceeding desktop conversions. Two, retailers are treating tablet and smartphone users as the same type of people. Big mistake. Monetate data shows tablet users are more like desktop users. Three, Tablet users are more in a buying mode, while smartphone users are usually price shopping. And four, social traffic coming from Facebook, Twitter, etc. converts at a significantly lower rate, about less than one half percent, than search traffic at 2.44%. Finally, Apple's production and marketing problems in China with the iPad ended on Monday with a $60 million payment to a mainland company that had claimed legal ownership of the phrase. That's Research Business Daily Report sponsored by SSI. We hope you have a great 4th of July and we'll see you again on Thursday.